ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ನಾಥಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ರಾಮ್ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣೇ ನಮಃ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಂಧುಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸಾಯಿ ಸತ್ಸಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಆರ್ತೀಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ತೀಸ್ like what are they mainly composed of what is the background of these arthis if we look at uh, all the arthis there are like 30 psalms like shlokas or whatever you call pradhanas and of the 30 only 16 are composed on sri shai baba and the rest that is 14 are traditional arthi psalms composed by the the poet saints of maharashtra except like a vedic chant here and there of the 14 traditional psalms five were composed by sant tukaram maharaj two each by sant namdev and sant janabai and one each by sri ram janardan swami and sri rameshwar bhat and there are three more left out of these three one is a vedic hymn and the other two are like traditional prayers so the 16 which were written on sri sai baba nine were composed by sri k j bishma three by das ganu maharaj and one each by sri upasani maharaj and shri madhurav adkar shri mohini raj shri bv dev of the 30 arthi psalms 25 are in marathi two in hindi two in sanskrit and one is like a, a, a bilingual kind of thing a short marathi and sanskrit prayers if we look at them I mean, and who really started uh, the arthis actually the arthis were mainly started uh, in the beginning like uh, by nolkar in uh, 1911 and he started the tradition at that time and uh, i think baba gave him an opportunity to start that before that baba never liked uh, uh any of these uh, kind of uh, prayers or or those except for mahalsapati when he was doing uh, applying some sandal paste to baba and uh, putting some flowers on his feet uh, so nolkar sri nolkar he started that and um and then he almost did it like uh, some for some time and the nolkar's name i mean like it's uh, his name was uh, sri tatya saheb it's like lakshman krishna ji nolkar so nolkar fell ill in march of uh, 1911 and um when he breathed his uh, last breath in shirdi with baba's name on his tongue baba bhajan in his ears baba's pada tirda in his uh, throat and uh, when he passed away baba said in a mournful mood oh my tatya ba has left ahead of us now what am i to do i too shall leave what for this masjid and what for shirdi tatya ba was a good man he listened to me and i helped him to accomplish his life's goal he will be born no more that's an incredible statement by baba and uh, that means i mean he's, he attained moksha mukti and after nulkar's death in the march of 9 and 1911 the famous megarathi by m 
Mega who was started. His name was like Mega Shama. He took over the charge of officiating Baba Arthis. He used to perform Arthi standing on one leg. Till the Arthi was over, he never used even to move his head. He performed the Arthi with utmost concentration. And Mega passed away on January 19, 1912. Baba reacted even it's a similar or more than when he reacted to Nulkar and uh, Mega also attained the highest state and Baba was uh, made making like uh, statements like I mean he followed him um, when he was taken on his last journey and uh, Kapardes diary described this very beautifully. So Baba blessed him so that he doesn't have to be born again. So these arthis have powerful blessings. When you do arati, you're burning away your sins. After Mega's demise, Babu Sahib Job stepped forward to fill mega shoes and if you look at the dates Sai Sacharita states that night arati was commenced on uh, probably around uh, uh, 1910 like maybe in uh, December uh, possibly December 1910 uh, there is a lot of controversy about it um, but when we look at it, initially Baba allowed only like certain aratis only because he used to sleep uh, one day in the Dwarka Mai and the next day at uh, Chavadi. So possibly at Chavadi they started the Sej Harati and then to compensate, I mean, they did a Kakad Arati and uh, Majan Arati and uh, Sanjay Arati were probably done, they were done uh, at the Varkamai. Babu Sahib Jog, I mean, he was in charge of conducting the Aarthis at the Sate Vada. After Baba's Padukas were installed at Gurustan in 1912, uh, a third Aarthi used to be performed at the Gurustan. Um, he, and uh, his name was, the, the person who conducted that was uh, Dikshit. And uh, he was appointed to officiate the Aarthis at the Gurustan. So one at Sate Vada, and one at Gurustan simultaneously were going on. So this this is the a brief history of the Arthis, and uh, we will continue to talk about uh, uh, the the other history and the some of the meanings of the Arthis in the coming satsangs. Om. Sri Sai Ram, Om Sri Sai Nadhaya Namaha, Om Sri Sai Parabrahmane Namaha, Sri Sachidananda Sadguru Sainad Maharaj Ki Jai.